name is Sarah. Good morning, man. What was that? Morning, Miss. How's your arm? Bruised. Mm-hmm. Figured. How are you? Extremely comfortable. Though, you could have woken me to take a watch. You needed sleep. Wanted to make sure you weren't having chills in your sleep. Vampire flu. That was considerate of you. Worried the priest didn't do a good enough job. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, is this... It's all right with me. Sounds like you needed the sleep, too. Mm-hmm. I've been very busy. Do I need to enforce breaks, Zirilada? <laughs> Don't you take that tone with me first thing in the morning, Mythidros? You didn't answer my question. Ah, maybe you should. Although, I have to be honest, this is the best I've slept since I got to Skyrim. Is that a compliment? I think so. You're very warm. And comfortable. Even with the armor. I feel bad just falling into this bed right after fighting a castle full of dusty vampires. It feels so nice. Mm-hmm. I could stay here another hour. So this is... good. Are we... What are we now? Exhausted and very cozy. Myth? We are... The Dragonborn and her deadly shadow. I mean... I know, I know. We are... Whatever you'd like this to be, I think. I'm following your lead on such matters. Given that I tend to follow your lead when I'm in need of direction? Sometimes vague direction, but I do my best. And you let me find my own way sometimes, which... Frankly, I appreciate. Much more than you know. It makes me feel more like... Myself. Sort of. You seem to be getting used to it. Being blind. I think I might be. If I'm going to be honest, I've been just trying to distract myself from everything that happened for as long as I can possibly get away with it. And maybe I've ended up so fond of you because you're an excellent distraction. Fond of me? It would seem that the feeling is mutual. And it would also seem we're not so distracted right now. Indeed. And it's hard to distract a sleeping mind. I've had more nightmares than I'd like to admit, but I'm admitting it anyway. You make me feel a little safer. And you make me feel a little more... understood, perhaps. Is that what you meant when you said, this is the best you've slept since you got here? It is. No nightmares tonight, though... Whether that's strictly your doing, or whether the exhaustion caught up to both of us is up for debate and debunking, I think. <laughs> debunking. Well then, perhaps we should sleep like normal people after we go climb to High Hrothka. Test out at least one of those variables. Ugh. Right. Climbing. So, this is all fine then? I know you keep asking whether we should talk. I assume about us. I'm not, however, sure there's much of anything to be said. I'll try to be more forthright, at least when it's safe to do so. You try not to push yourself to the point of collapse. The rest? We play it by ear. Agreed? Agreed. I suppose there's nothing for it then. We have to get up and get moving. Didn't I just get done telling you not to push yourself? I'm pushing us both, Myth, and I promise we'll take a break after we get that damned snow. Famous last words. Oh, please be wrong about that. Are you going to be warm enough on the trip up? I should be. In theory. Looks like those patches of... Whatever that is, Avak. Oh, 
the ones that I had to shout to clear the last time. Those indeed. You would think the Greybeards would, but... No, those are meant to keep out people who probably shouldn't be up at the throat of the world, so... Ah, right. Shall we? Think we shall. I'm as ready as I'm going to be. At least the sun is out. I mean, you say that, but... Hello. Oh! <laughs> I think I've un... I think I interrupted one of the grey bits. I'm not sure one can interrupt the grey bits. Even one who happens to be dragonborn. Fair enough. There's another one. Oh. Oh, sorry. You were right behind me, weren't you? Um. Yes. And that is rather loud. Ah, uh, well. You might want to back up. Backing up. Go ahead. Sometimes I do forget how loud that's a bridge, how loud my shouts actually are. Oh, whoa! Hello! Ah! Don't go too far, that is very cold. Oh! There we are. Right. Go ahead and clear it out. Will do. Ow. Thank you for dealing with that ice wraith. Anytime. Another one. Oh, I heard him. Oh, that's... Where to go? I've got him. Myth? What? Did you just hit him with a sun-hallowed arrow? Look, I had a few spares. <laughs> and we're not fighting vampires anymore. No. Although... They seem to work quite well on ice rays. Ow. Look. Oh, are you kidding me? Nope. That is persistent fog. Persistent and extremely uncomfortable. You know how I keep having to cover my eyes when it's raining because I don't have the reflex to close them? Imagine that. But with frost. It's like I can feel the inside of my skull freezing. That sounds deeply unpleasant. Ah, uh, where is this? Ow! Oh. oh, you're behind me. Oh, there we go. Well done. More or less. I think we might be getting close to the top now. That would be ideal. And then of course we get the snow and have to go all the way back down the mountain again. Ow. I apologize for making you deaf early. I don't mind. And it's not that bad. The hood helps a bit. That's good to know. Ah, uh -huh. I am a bit nervous about running off the side of the mountain, or I would be if I... 
can I can just about see whatever those are. I assume they're cans. I can also more or less make out the dark rocks there, which I assume are the upside of the mountain. The upside. Are you keeping up? Speaking of up. I am. Go on. Oh, hey. I forgot about him. Oh. Parthenax, right? Correct. Good morning, You have it. The Kel. The Elder Scroll. Tidkrech. Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom-driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Um... Go then. Fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the signs. Oh, I forgot about that. I kind of forgot that that's why we joined the Dawn Guard in the first place, because... Something about they would know where to find El Elder Scrolls. Which? What was that you? One of us. I think it was me, actually, and it looks like my intuition was correct. Thrice over. <laughs> uh, right. I don't suppose there are any moths around here. Um, no. Which means I need to find the time wound and just hope, basically. Well, given that you're the one that needs to learn the shout, assume you can. Should we get the snow first? Um, let's worry about that after we do this, just in case it manages to melt while you're doing this. You make a very good point. Right, so the time wound is, I assume, this thing that feels like standing in a riptide almost that is correct I assume great wonderful you'll be here right of course I will okay Wish me luck, Myth. Good luck. Alduin's lordship will be restored. But I honor your courage. Kreef Wolf Akrin, die now in vain. For Sky! <laughs> Glorious day, is it not? Have you no thought beyond the blooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. If Alduin does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? 
We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us, oh, even hello. now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone this day. But none have yet stood against Alduin himself. Golfo, Sori, Birker. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength, which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Feldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, no, I will not need it. No, we will it. deal with Alduin ourselves. Here and now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches! Oh, does he? Calm before the storm is always the worst part. So be it. Hello. Me, Tarudis Ani, him hind paliv, zu u hindan. Let those that watch from Savengard envy us this day. Oh. oh. Oh dear. Nivaring Jewel, what have you done? Oh. What twisted words have you created? Taro Dispadrox, my teeth to his neck. But first, dear Kumar, you will die in terror, knowing your final fate. To feed my power when I come for you in Southern Guard. If I die today, it will not be in terror. Oh, you feel fear for the first time, Worm. I see it in your eyes. Skyrim will be free! Oh. No, damn you! No use. It's a scroll, Keldir. Now. Hold Alderman on the wing. Sister Hawk, grant us your sacred breath to make this contract hers. Be gone, World Eater. By words with older bones than your own, we break your perch on this age and send you out. You are banished. We shout you out from all our endings unto the last. Oh. You are banished! <laughs> it worked. You did it. Yes. The World Eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls. Oh, gods. Oh, gods. Sure. My belly is full of the souls of your fellow mortals, Dovahkiin. Die now, um. and await your fate in Southern Guard. Lost Funt, you are too late, Alduin. Oh, lovely. Dovahkiin, use Dragonrend if you know it. I do now. Axed while yours has waned. Ah, move to join our parish with your mortal friends. Unshat Hokoran, never again. Use Dragon Hand. It's the only chance to defeat. 
You go. are no match. There we are. I've got my eyes on him. You're right. A bit shaken. It's nothing like seeing the Marethic era. Get him. Oh. Okay. Are you alright, Myth? So far. Ah, mostly. Look out. Ah, uh, I would. You look out. Oh dear. Ow. Ah. Myth? Right here. Focus. On what? Shouting at him. Now. Okay, where is he? Coming down. Coming down behind you. You are no match for Okay. Oh, that's a lot of rocks. Myth? I'm alright. So far. Just keep moving. Okay? Ah. I heard that. Thank you. Shout now. Wood. You got him. Thank you. Oh, that's not you. There you are. God, it's this. No more arrogant than you, sir. What's going on? Well, you but I am Al Duin, firstborn of Akatosh, Malagi Zoklat. I cannot be slain here by you or anyone else. You cannot prevail against me. I will outlast you, mortal. Um. Lot Kongrach, you truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. I thought that was Alduin landing there. And it wasn't really a victory, given that he's just escaped. Nilivrach in Moro. True, this is not the final Kongrach. Victory. But, not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pachlok, arrogant in his power. Usnagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. Uh-huh. And where do you suppose he's gone? Yes, one of his allies could tell us. Mat Mahus. But it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? <laughs> um... Something tells me the Jarl of Whiterun might find that 
a bit objectionable. Hmm, yes. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Uh-huh. So, Dragon's Reach was built to hold a dragon. Yes. This was ages ago, you understand. There were more of us then. Before the Bruniki, the Akaviri came and killed all my Zema. I used to visit him from time to time, nearly crazed by loneliness and captivity. Tiraz Sivaz. He did not even remember his own name. I do not know how he came to be caught, but the Bronyun, the Jarl, was very proud of his pet, Pak. The Hofkasayun has been known as Dragon's Reach ever since. Who? Oh. Well, good to know. Look, Thum. You as well. You're right. Well, a bit singed around the edges. My arm is in a state, but I'll deal with it. Are you alright? I think so. I think I managed to keep myself well enough healed through that whole thing. Astonishingly. Although I didn't take any dragon jaws to my person, so that's always a bonus. May I? I don't think at this point that you have to ask. You have an excellent point. Okay. That was rather a lot. It is getting very cold. Um, that means the snow won't melt in my bag on a way back down the mountain, right? Uh, uphill is roughly here. You have an astonishing ability to switch your focus. I have no idea how you do it. <laughs> um... I think it's mostly just, at this point, long practice trying to... survive far more arrogant mortals than myself. Namely, the Thalmor. That is exactly who I mean. Where do you suppose this unmelting snow might be? Uh, it feels like a way up here, sort of. Potentially. It is rather difficult to tell. Oh. Though sometimes you just have to climb. And we'll go around the other way. And that is back down again. Which means... Wow. I... We've... Currently... We're on... We're on top of the world. And there's a chair. All the way up at the throat of the world. That is absolutely wild to me. You know, it's a bit odd to me. What? There's ebony up here. What? That's so volcanic rock, isn't it? Um... Potentially. You see any unmelting snow? Um... Not really. Uh-huh. Okay, so we just keep looking around in that case. Oh, well... <laughs> Let's not fall. You look 
I will attempt to feel my way around all of this. Perhaps it is, in fact, down closer to here. And by here, I mean the strange and wonderful time wound. Or it's... I don't know where it might be. Ah, Quintus. He'd better be glad that we just fought Elduin, otherwise I'd be potentially a bit more grouchy at him. Sending us on a wild snow chase, which is a new one, I think. On the other hand... Perhaps I would actually be less grouchy, if indeed... Oh. There's some good snow. Myth? I think I found it. Oh. Where? Up just up the hill there. I assume that I'm pointing uphill. <laughs> You are. And now we need to get back downhill before I freeze. Or you do. Or both of us do. I suppose we could... What was it you said? Huddle together for warmth? It doesn't sound like you'd be opposed to that. At this point? I think maybe I'd prefer it. Skyrim is cold enough as it is incredibly steep in places. Oh, gods. Myth? I'm right here. Let's... I don't think... Let's get back to Quintus first before we do anything about dealing with the Yarl of Whiterun, given that he is in the midst of all sorts of things. And also, I have no idea how to trap a dragon. No. We might have to talk to Arngear when we get down there. That's not a bad idea, actually. I haven't felt any of the horrible ice yet, although it is rather difficult to tell. Given that it is, I assume, night time, roughly speaking, and snowing. So. <gasps> oh, there it is. Of course. Look, My apologies to the people of Iverstead. <sighs> and we wait. Oh. Uh. Einov? Wolfgar. It really does sound like some sort of eruption when they speak. It does, doesn't it? Also, pause for a moment. The lights are beautiful. Oh. The... Uh, also, where do, is, are either of these on gear? I don't think so. I wish I could see them, the lights. I can... oh well. I can tell that they're happening. Oh. And the greybeards are practicing. The green. Or turquoise. That sounds quite pretty, actually. You look very tired. I am very tired. I'm also... Ha Whoa. I can almost see the peak there. Also quite happy to just spend a moment 
and take a breather. With you. Figured as much. Shall we? Might as well. Okay, where might we find on gear? Try the right hallway first. Will your hunches pay off? Aldwin? We heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? Your intuition is fantastic, Myth. We didn't. Well, I sort of did, but he escaped. And I need to find his... However he got to from here to Sovngarde. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. Eventually, I'm going to try to capture a dragon. If the Jarl of Whiterun will help me. Ah, Dragon's Reach. There are many difficulties, but I cannot think of a better plan. Although I fear the Jarl may not be easy to persuade. Remember, the way of the voice trains you for more than battle. Indeed, we believe that battle is the least of its uses. May the strength and truth of your voice serve you well. Breath and focus. Right, okay. Breath and focus. I will try to keep that in mind. Do we want to just stay up here for the night and head to Winterhold? The Winterhold Windhelm in the morning? You know, that's not a bad idea. It's warm enough up here, even if it is. As far as I can tell, it's just... Just a monastery made out of stone. That is correct. In theory they have... I don't know. Something around here somewhere. Might be able to sleep. And if not, there are benches. <laughs> I suppose it could be worse. Although, I am missing that bed in solitude right about now. You and me both. Oh, uh, well, we may be out of luck. There are beds, but there are four of them. Ah, one for each of the graybeards. So, benches it is, but at least it's going to be warm. Warm enough, anyway. I do need that for navigation. And I've no, no idea where I'm going. A nice little nook in here, I suppose. A council room. Oh. What would the Greybeards need a council room for? No idea. You're the one with all of the, um, the lore and whatnot. True. Have you picked any, picked up any good books on your travels? You mean with you? <laughs> yes. Obviously. Better question, are you up to reading this evening? I, let's see what I can do. This table here. We can at least put our heads down, if nothing else. Fair enough. And it's warm. That is the most important part right at the moment. Tomorrow, Windhelm. Tomorrow, Windhelm. And then, Whiterun. So much for that break. I do... I will learn to hate it when you're right, I think. Oh, probably. I'm not going to apologize for it, though. Good. I wouldn't expect you to. Hey. <sighs>